Hello everyone and welcome to the Hannah Frank Show. Hello everyone and welcome to the Henry Frank Show. Today's video is quite important to me. I will discuss portfolio diversification. Now this one will be quite different because I will focus on one specific industry and then I will show you how my thought process is when it comes to approaching some of the stocks that I'm looking into, some of the stock that I can't afford, the ones that I can't afford. I typically have a strategic blueprint that so far it's been working for me. And with that being said, let's dive in. The industry that I would like to focus on today is the electric vehicle market. Yes, that's my second video on electric vehicle, but last week was about Lucid Motors and that was just one company within the industry. I strongly believe, like I said before, that this market is wide open. For the next 10 to 15 years, a lot of companies will heavily be involved in the electric vehicle market. When it comes to electric vehicles, my thought process is typically focused on five specific components. The first one, the cars. I do take a look at companies that are actively involved in the electric vehicle markets. Some are more known than others, some may not be as known. Now, for instance, Tesla. I would consider Tesla to be the leading company when it comes to electric vehicles. Most people either have invested in Tesla, own a Tesla, or may think about buying Tesla stocks. Now, Tesla stocks may not be the most affordable stocks. If you can buy it or own it, fantastic. But if you're looking for some cheaper alternative, this is my research concept. I do take a look at alternative or cheaper alternatives to Tesla stocks. That's how I research to know what companies do what, then, if I do find a company that looks interesting, I actually dive in and try to find more information about that company, either visit their website or find their uh, filings, for instance, and look at their performance in general. I mentioned Tesla. When it comes to those cars, you can consider companies such as Apple, for instance. Apple is a well-known company. Everybody knows Apple, uh, but Apple is actively working on having their own electric autonomous vehicle. There are some rumors not too long ago that Apple may be in the works with Hyundai Kia to manufacture their autonomous vehicle that they're planning to have available in the market by 2024 and as a stretch maybe by 2026. It's not confirmed but that's a good concept for instance to research and find out companies that may be working on electric vehicles. Another company could be GM for instance. GM, uh, I think it was about two weeks ago, stated that they are looking to have their entire fleet to be completely electric by 2035. A statement like that is quite bold. That's an opportunity for instance to get involved with an electric vehicle company such as GM. Another strategy that I do take a look at, for instance, is to look at companies that are either looking to go public in the electric vehicle market or companies that recently went public in the electric vehicle markets. And there are several ways you can do that, right? So you can Google, for instance, new electric vehicle IPOs or upcoming electric vehicle IPOs. IPO stands for Initial Public Offering. That's pretty much the process that a company uh, go through in order to go public, to be listed on different exchanges such as the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ and so forth. Another strategy that some of these companies do consider these days are what they call a SPAC. SPAC stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. It's essentially a group of investors coming together with the sole purpose of acquiring a company. This is a sh much, much, much shorter process than going through the initial public offering process. So there's less paperwork, uh, there's less requirements in order to go public, but with a SPAC, it's just a group of investors who most of the time they have 
very good reputation. So the company I discussed last week, for instance, Lucid Motors, they are, at least they have the intention of going public through a SPAC. The second element that I do take a look at for electric vehicles are charging stations. Yes. Now, Tesla is very popular with uh, their charging stations. You can find them at gas stations or parking lots, and they have that big brand Tesla on top. So they're essentially uh, used mostly for Tesla vehicles. Now, with newer electric vehicles entering the market, I take a look at maybe I should invest in charging station companies because there are quite a few of them out there. Companies such as Charging Point or EV Box, just to name a few. But you can definitely make some research in regards to upcoming or current charging station companies because if you're looking to have electric vehicles in the market, you will need charging stations. So that's a good way to invest in electric vehicle related companies as well. The third component to consider can be renewable energy, for instance. Now you have companies such as Plug Power or Lint, they're actively involved in making sure that the electric vehicles that will be on the market will be properly powered. Now that's a good sector to take a look at. If you're not involved or if you're not trying to purchase stocks that are directly related to one specific company, you can take a look at the renewable energy companies that these electric vehicles will need in order to function. The next area that I do take a look at is the type of commodities or components that are part of electric vehicles. Things like lithium, things like copper, things like uh, semiconductors, for instance. Uh, these are all elements that I can research to see either what companies are heavily involved uh, in the manufacturing of these, of these products or companies that are planning to be, in, to be in the market for these type of commodities. Number five on my list is software. Now, when it comes to electric vehicles, one of their main selling point is that most of them, if not all of them, will have some type of autonomous driving element. To have that, you definitely need the right software. One of the most common technology being involved in autonomous driving is called LIDAR. LIDAR stands for Light Detection Range. These are the five components that I do take a look at as my personal blueprint when it comes to investing in the electric vehicle market. Now, it's not cut and dry. You can definitely uh, find different ways for you to get involved in that market. But that strategy, that strategy can be applied for essentially any type of industry that you want to take part of, right? So I do take a look at, um, you know, for instance, if you want to take a look at a full portfolio diversification, you can have stocks from retail like Walmart or Target, and you can have stocks from the healthcare industry, such, such as Johnson & Johnson or Pfizer, and you can have some other elements from uh, real estate, for instance, right, from Lennar or the Horton, or you can have companies in the tech industry, such as Apple or Amazon, Amazon is a, is a different beast, right? Amazon can be part of entertainment, for instance, with their prime video aspect, can be part of e-commerce, right? That's their bread and butter. It can also be part of um, technology, really, because you have Alexa and so forth, all, all, these, all these things that these companies can get involved. But point is this is my thinking process again this was very industry specific but you can also apply that same blueprint when it comes to any type of industries you want to take part of if you're looking to invest until then peace